Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. This one might be our last. We just went through the Dimensions Hasp last episode along with all that airy stuff. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go into the ravine, and then, in, then to the chasm, and then hopefully we meet airy or something there. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking here. Let's go... Well, I gotta, I gotta keep talking for a little while longer because we gotta get there first. But luckily, the sword isn't actually too long. You know, this is where the game began. So, of course, they didn't make it crazy long. It, you know, it's the beginning of the game. We we fought goblins here, you know. We're, we're about to go fight the uh, God of Destruction. And this is the same place we fought goblins. Little, little goblins. But, anyway... Let's go ahead and give it a save. And here is my final stats, if anyone cares. 99, cross the board. Valkyries, mastery 14, cross the board. Um, we got, let's see, I'm going to flex for a second. Um, for abilities, we've got Holy Arts, Ninjutsu, Spiritism, Bushido. For equipment, this is what we got here. Cr mostly crystal stuff with either strength or speed accessories. Uh, red cap and spears on everyone. Oh, actually, I should do this. We want to put demon on everything here because the final boss is surprise. It's a demon, so we want to go ahead and put demon on everything here. Um, and then here we're also gonna want to put demon, demon, demon. Okay, and then lastly the flame. I know this isn't like that important, but hey, if, if we're trying to min-max this bad boy, then we're going to want demon on everything. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a save. A second save, just because we, we fixed that. Let's go inside the cave. Oh, now you can see my face. There it is. The Dark Aurora. Is there a inside? How do we... Look! A magic circle on the cliff's edge. It may offer a way in. Hmm, teleport. Nice. Alright! If everyone's ready, let's go after Aerie! Indeed. Now, I love uh, convenient teleportation spheres. Once this is all done. So, what will everyone do once this is all done and the Great Chasm finally closes? I think I'll carry on with my father's wishes. As a vestal of the crystals, I intend to keep guiding the faithful. What's so funny, Agnes? Well, I am the wind vestal and a follower of crystallism, and you, you are the daughter of the great brave, the Templar, a natu an, and naturally an adherent of anti-crystallism. It seems strange that we would journey so far together, but in the end, return to lives naturally opposed. Well, I for one intend to put concepts like crystallism and anti-crystallism in the past. Really? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I will seek to make the world a better place. A world where we don't need to oppose each other. I believe that this is the sort of world my father really sought. Adia, I think so too. Ring a bell, what will you do? What else? Continue my never-ending quest to find my ideal woman. Besides, I don't have anywhere to go back to. Come live in Eternia. Don't worry, I'll put in a good word for you. Hmm, it might be nice to have somewhere I could call home. What about you, Tiz? Me? Oh, uh... Once our adventure is over, I think I'll return to Norende Village to live out the rest of my life in peace. Rather humdrum, huh? No, it's neither humdrum nor extraordinary. That's right, Tiz. I will be sure to come visit you in Norende, Tez, once this is all done. Cool. Darkness. The Dark Aurora. Okay. S spooky. I beseech you, O oh Lord, hear your faithful servant's plea. For the 1100 million years since I was fond of you, I have existed solely for your glory and... No! No! The magic circle! It's opened! Then... Here we come! 
Get over here. Give her power so that I may take it from her. Please. Okay. Um, I have currently encounters off because level 99. I, I'm sorry, I just really don't want to go through the encounters here. There's just no reason for me to do so. Um, I could maybe turn them on just to see what type of creatures there are. But honestly, I just don't need to. So I'm not going to. Mega Elixir, those are useful. Not as useful because I'm a full Valkyrie, you know, a Valkyrie strat. You know, those Mega Elixirs are more useful for um, tanking, uh, tanking teams and um, even burst teams. They can be useful because you usually can't burst a boss in one round. So you usually have to burst, heal, burst, heal, you know, so Mega Elixirs can be useful there. The problem with my strat is I'm not very often on the ground and if I'm on the ground healing then I have a problem. I should never be on the ground healing. Okay, a black belt, so those mega elixirs aren't particularly useful for me. I mean they helped me throughout the game a whole bunch. So I do not want it. Um, the only way I'd put it on is if it raised my agility, and I don't know if it raised my agility. I didn't check. I really need this bad boy to t light up a little bit, because, um, ooh, chests, because I'm fairly dark right now, but, and I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, like, oh, he's just, like, not a good Let's Player. Actually, I kind of like, if you've noticed, in all of my playthroughs, it's like this. I could turn on a light very, very easily. I choose not to turn on a light because I feel like um, when I'm doing a let's play, I want you guys to enjoy the game with me, and I want you guys to be in the atmosphere of you playing the game. So in my opinion, if I'm here in like a professional studio in a lit up place, it's just like it seems like it takes some of the... Um, What's the word? Not like aroma. That's a smell. Like the... You guys know what I mean. The atmosphere, you know? I feel in this sense, the only thing that needs to be good, the only thing, is the audio. If the audio is bad, then yes, we have an issue. But as far as my visuals, this isn't important. Uh, that's important. And the way I'm doing the Let's Play, I feel like a lot of people can get more into the game uh, on the simple fact that, like, I'm in the dark, I'm with you guys, you know. This is what a normal person playing the game looks like. Normal people don't play in studios. Normal people play in their bed in the dark. And again, what's important is the audio. But anyway, now I'm just going on a rant because I'm, I don't know, I'm just running through a dungeon here. But, um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people maybe don't understand that. They just think I'm just being, like, weird. Or cheap or you know I'm being lazy but I'm really not I'm just trying my best to bring the best environment here you know and hopefully you guys you know hopefully you guys enjoy that you know I know there I can I know that there are people who only watch professionals with lights and setups and honestly that's perfectly fine I, ooh, a ribbon I have no problem with that no, it's not higher agility, so if it's not higher agility, I don't want it. I don't want it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is probably the last episode of the playthrough. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You know, if you've watched the in if you've watched the entirety of it, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. You know, I had ooh, there's chest over there that I kinda want. Um Let's go to this one first. You know, I I record these things for you and for me. I use it as a form of like a form of a diary for me. But also I record it because I know a lot of people don't have the certain consoles to play these types of games, you know. Like this is technically a Nintendo Switch 3DS game. 
a lot of people don't have those. So they just want to go online and say, hey, let me just look at the game. So I'm just here for that purpose. I'm not here to make, you know, clickbait or lots of views or anything. It's simply just you want to see the game. Here's the game. I'm a normal game. I'm a normal person, you know. All right. I think we're coming up on where we need to go here. Because this is where the yellow's at. Alright, what does this ultimate form look like? Whatever it is, I'm beating it, but... Alright, let's give it a good old Saveru. Probably the last one of this playthrough. And, oh, also if you guys are wondering, I am currently doing the normal ending. This is what the normal ending should be. I will be including the alternate endings either at the end of this video or in another video. I will be posting the alternate ending because it exists and I want to show it off. She doesn't look like a big ugly bug. Alright, let's beat it up. Let's do this. Okay, dude. Who will win? One fairy boy or a bunch of spear boys? I think the spear boys will win. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and... Crescent Moon with a super jump. We're gonna go ahead and do a meg whatever flame with a super jump. Crescent Moon with... Oh, no, no, no. I need to do... Crescent Moon with the Super Jump, and then one more Crescent Moon with the Super Jump. Okay, that is what we want to do here. Crescent Moon Jump, Crescent Moon Jump, Crescent Moon Jump, and j we're just doing this one special because I want to increase the uh, physical attack there, so... When we come down, we're going to be coming down with a 999, you know? Okay? So, can't do anything against me. Coming down with that 999. You love to see it. Okay, so this time, we're going to do the, the flame with another person. Do the super jump. Crescent moon with another super jump. So, basically, what we're going to want to do is just have everyone do crescent and super jump, except to one person... Which every round will do the special one because it'll increase our physical attack. And I don't know, I don't like I'm I don't keep this in detail. I know the physical attack doesn't stay forever. So that's why I want to keep repeating the special to keep that physical attack there. So whatever I do, it always hits for a 999, you know? So the crescent moons aren't gonna hit for that much, but hey, the crescent moons are like the salt bay on top, you know? Just come by, sprinkle a little salt. Recover, okay, recovered. What's this? A hundred thousand, wow. Lord, I am forever in your debt. Okay. So she got a hundred thousand HP back. But that's not gonna help her too much. Crescent moon super jump. Crescent moon super jump once again. Okay, now we're gonna do the the flame with Ring a Bell now. And then the next one will be Adia. Okay, let's go. Yep, and then the next one to do the special will be Adia. Or, I think it was Adia. Whoever hasn't done it yet. 
but in this case it's going to be ring a bell and it should hit for another 999 and again the reason it hits for 999 is i think because i specifically made it against the demon on when we did the special moves so you gotta also remember that we pre -pl wait is area demon or is she undead i can't tell i don't i don't know but it's all right either way let's just go ahead and just this turn oh actually no just this turn let's have everyone do crescent moons and let's not have a special attack just this once because i also want to make sure that i have those specials for the final boss because obviously airy is not the final boss here so i want to make sure i have some of those specials here okay and then another super jump and we're ready to go and i know i could be doing the auto but for the sake of, you know, these are the last fights, I'm not going to use auto. I'm just going to actually click the buttons that I need to click. Okay. You're going to recover her one more time? Alright, bud. Well, he's going to get bored of you eventually, so don't get too high on yourself here. Okay. I lied, I am going to use an auto real quick, just because we're doing the same move. I'm not going to even bother with the special for now. We'll just give it a moment here. Ooh. Oh, dang, ring ring a bell is dead. That's not good. We're going to have to get him back. Okay. Well, then here's what we're going to do. We're going to super jump. Super jump. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I need to... I still need, I still need to be smart. Crescent moon. Super jump brave crescent moon super jump okay with the dia what we're gonna do is brave phoenix and then mega elixir here so i i just need ring a bell and adia to come back alive or i need adia to get ring a bell back alive and they just need to survive one turn one turn is all they need here Okay, now both of them are dead, which ain't particularly cool here. Okay, so this is getting a, a bit yikes here. So let's do... I could technically just leave him on the ground. It's not that big of a deal, but I'd rather not. Okay, let's do another Crescent Moon with another Super Jump. Okay, and I guess with Agnes, I'm going to have to do this now. So Phoenix, Phoenix... And then, um, I'm gonna have to do a Mega Elixir here. Now, what can I do with the Ninjutsu? I can't really do anything, huh? So, I guess I can select myself as a target of action. Maybe she'll do a, a single attack instead of a big attack here. But, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, let's do a Mega Elixir. We just need to survive a single round so we can get back up in the air. Literally. Okay, we're good. See? So now, let's just go ahead and get ourselves back in the air. Hopefully before she attacks. And then, yeah. And I think we'll be good. So, jump up in the air. Jump up in the air. Yes. Perfect. That's what you love to see. Yep. And then now we can come back down. Okay, with Tiz, let's go ahead and Brave, Crescent Moon, Super Jump. Oh, actually, you know what we need to do? We need a special here because I need to get that physical attack back. Okay. Lord Robert, I must call on you. He's not going to help you this time. Hey, you, you, you linked ten, a couple tens of thousands of worlds, spent millions of years, but you get beat once, and the guy's like, sorry, bruh. Dude, he's the god of destruction. Why would you think he cares about you? Makes no sense. Uh, what's happening? Did he eat her? I know that. Huh? 
Doesn't sound tasty. Ooh. That's creepy, bruh. Alright, let's make sure we heal here, huh? Um, we can just use... Let's just use some X potions here. We're at the end of the game, so it doesn't matter. That's... Why is Tiz right there? That's not me. Look! There's something there! That's not me, you... That's not you, me. It looks like... Tiz! Whatever it is, it's heading this way! You gotta beat up ourself? So... It is as the physical form, and must let her put a trade in her words with you. How terror comes. Uh, are you... a robberess? Call me what you do with me. I did not anticipate the area to defeat it. You creatures eat me. So it is that I take this calmness for. Nana, ask me what you do with me. Just who are? That has all been answered. I am Robots. Do not remember the secret again. How did Aerie fit into your plan? She gathered this treasure that I made to preach this message to the world. This too was explained. What is the celestial realm? As I learned in the past, it is the realm of the gods. Why do you seek to invade it? The realm of the gods is a great civilization. It is the cosmos, full of love, the nether. Reverential and then order. It knows no war or strife. There exists no greater war. No dull prison. That's what Mephilia said when she says your soul is not your own. That's what Mephilia meant when she said that. Cold, dude. That's cold. Yes. This suffering, such a beast, bears no change upon its feet, nor does its void. No matter how great her reverence for meaning, she is not a dwarf 
Dang, dude. Let's go, bro. I'm gonna drive a spear right into your mouth. I got a spear waiting for you, bro. Bang. Bang. Take these spears. Right in the face. Bang. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do a special overpower along with a super jump. Brave. We're gonna go ahead and do Crescent Moon along with a super jump. Crescent Moon along with a super jump. And I know I could probably go a little faster, but I also don't feel like messing this up. I'm going to just be honest. If I mess this up, it's a lot worse. Okay? Yeah, if I if I do Super Jump and then Crescent Moon or something like that, it's going to be all weird. I'd rather not. Okay? P attack is up. Let's get it. Super Jump, Crescent Moon, Super Jump, Crescent Moon, Super Jump, Crescent Moon, Super Jump. Okay? What you going to do, or Ouroboros? What you gonna do slide up on you okay so now we're gonna go ahead and um, do the same thing just crescent moon and then super jump we're gonna do this with everybody here we're gonna do the special when we come back down crescent moon super jump crescent moon super jump okay should be good jump 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 and we jump okay you can do you can gather as much BP as you like or Boros but you cannot escape from the super jumps okay we repeat okay, this time we're gonna go and do the flame along with the super jump crescent moon okay one more, and we go back into the air. We are birds. At heart, we are birds. The sky is where we belong. And I keep messing up the tilt of this pillow. I'm trying to keep it straight for those of you that, like, care about that sort of thing. Are you going to change into something, bro? What are you going to change into? Okay, change it to something cool then. Alright, change it to something cool. Woo! That guy's big! 